Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, we go shelling every single day down here in Australia and see what shells we can find. Let's go shelling on this beautiful sunrise morning and see what awesome uh, shells and creatures we can check out. We got out. a massive pile of shells down here actually though. That uh, bonnet was pretty nice before. But as you can see, there's a really big pile right here. First thing I saw was this uh, DNA coral down there. That looks huge. And then just down here, I see an erosa, a really big sort of carry, not sure what that is, but look at that. That looks like a really nice donkey. So it looks pretty good. Water's really warm today. Let's check it out. Come on, please. Yeah, wow. That's fantastic. That's actually made my day a bit better. It's so cold down here. Look at that. That's incredible. Wow, I haven't found a donkey like that in a long time. That's awesome. So yeah, it's about 7 a.m. down here, super freezing. Uh, let's check it out. I also saw this triton here, pretty nice. Tritons are pretty common for us, but um, yeah, some of them are pretty nice. Like they'll have those uh, pink tinges on the ends there. That's really nice. I'll definitely keep that. Yeah, there's a lot here. Like there's three just sitting there. How clear is the water though? That's awesome. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Pretty common carry for here. Can you just lift my sleeve up a bit? Thanks. You went to the no. But yeah, then we had a Rosa maybe. Yeah, nice. Oh. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Nice one, very nice actually. There's a nice little honey hole here. I'm pretty keen to check out that DNA coral down there. Really like that donkey. I haven't found one in quite a while. All right, let's see if I can get to it without my shoes getting wet or me falling in. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Can you hold my backpack? Oh, that's scary. I don't think I can get to that without putting my feet in. Hold my bag again. Uh. I get to it. All right, I'm gonna have to get my shoes in. Oh, that's chilly. It's better than my face going in there. Holy, it's not that big, but it's long. That's a good little pile right there. I guarantee there's some more around here if we uh, if we take a better look. Look at that. Donkey carry, a rosa, a little triton, and a piece of DNA. This pile in here is never usually full though. Like, look how far it is from the water. That's awesome. Really stoked on those. Love that, uh, what is it? Donkey cowrie. Might as well get the other foot in. Ooh, that's chilly. That's really chilly. Anything down here? Don't think so, just a lot of shell grit. Broken fingernail shell. Dang, they're hard to find. Um, don't really see anything else. All right, let's keep moving. All righty, guys. First find of the day so far. Let's check it out. Something different here. We got a blue bottle jellyfish. So you can actually touch this part around here without being stung. It's these little tentacles that you don't want to touch there. See, usually swimmers get those wrapped around them, around their legs and their arms when they're swimming, and they get a really nasty sting, which actually affects the, the glands of, of your body, so around your neck and around your, uh, your thighs around here. So, yeah, that's, that's why people hate them so much. They're definitely an interesting creature, but yeah, they, they cause havoc down here. So we'll put him back down in the water so you can live again and yeah that's that's it there that's how they sort of float like that and that's how they wrap around you 
Pretty interesting, hey? They're a very classic Australian uh, known criminal, I guess. They won't kill you, they just give you a really nasty sting. So yeah, that's the that's something we don't see every day down here. down there if you guys are new to the channel over the past like three episodes i found these little crab molts these little crab molts uh so it's like the shell of a crab i'm gonna see if this down here is another one. Oh, there's a massive rock crab down there you probably can't see it from here see ya see fella check it out yeah yeah it is <laughs> so you can tell they're the molts of a crab when their eyes are completely see-through like that. So this isn't just a dead crab. This is like, yeah, the molt of it. So that's pretty cool. So you can keep these and you just let them dry out in the fresh air and they'll they'll go really stiff and really, really light and like fragile. So I think they're pretty interesting. I've never really collected crab pieces or anything, but when they dry out in that, it's, it's like, it's a cool little addition to have into your shell case. You know what I mean? So take that guy home and uh yeah i've collected four crabs now i think it's pretty interesting comment down below what do you guys think about that i think it's interesting there's also a ton of tiny uh tiny like plankton fish down there they're hidden now but yeah, let's see what else we, got. we had a couple of really exciting things down here this actually took me by surprise the first thing that i saw was this again yesterday we found one but like a oh, hundred meters away from this guy we have a live bubble shell and he's getting absolutely destroyed down here. That is beautiful. Oh, cool. And then, yeah, what took my surprise even more was this Wendell trap down here. I'm gonna move this guy really quick, uh, somewhere safer, cause he was getting absolutely beaten down there. And then we'll come back for that Wendell trap. Won't move him too far in case he lives somewhere there, but I've never ever seen one of these blue bubble shells live living in this little passage here. So yeah, that's awesome. We'll put him down in here after we take a look at him really quick. Beautiful animal. So we'll put him down in here. There you go, buddy. How cool is that? Awesome, never ever seen one in there. And then like right across from it, sitting yeah just down in here is hopefully an empty really nice Wenzel trap let's check it out yeah nice what a nice surprise that was how awesome we haven't really had much luck this morning or yesterday morning on finding any decent shells and then right next to each other we found that blue live bubble shell and this Wenzel trap how awesome is that like I, I've walked all through here, all through that deeper area, all through there. Haven't found much at all. And then, yeah, these two are just sitting right next to each other. And that's a fantastic condition one. Awesome little scores. That's got me really excited now. Cool. Also wanted to see what sort of sea bush this was down here. Yeah, it's tiny. It's actually got a lot hanging off it. It's like a bit of sea sponge with some sort of coral connected to it. Definitely won't keep it in case that sea sponge is live at all. Pretty interesting though. Awesome. Wentel trap with Mr. Blue Bubble right there. Oh, cool. Might have some really interesting goodies here. The first thing I want to show you though is this tiny crab. Not sure if it's a malt or what. Oh yeah, that's for sure a malt. Dang, it's losing a lot of legs though. Really interesting colors, hey. Don't think I'll keep this guy if, ah, uh, it's such a shame. I definitely would have kept him if he had that extra claw there. Wow, that's pretty cool though. Pretty cool to see. <laughs> but then we also have what really, really looks like a Decent money carry. I rarely ever find these. Um, there's plenty of them live here. So, yeah, I'm really hoping this is really nice. Got a little limpet right next to it, too. Whoa! Dudes! That is nuts! Can you believe that condition? 
I reckon this one is going in my case. I reckon this might be the one of the best I've ever found. Wow, we've really scored this morning. How awesome is that? Real shame about that tiny hole there though. Wow, it's a really decent size too. Awesome. Now we got a little piece of, mm, pretty sure this is petrified wood. Don't know too much about rocks and that sort of thing, gemstones and that, but I'm pretty positive that's a piece of petrified wood. It's like fossilized wood pieces, you know? Yeah, they're, they're usually everywhere as well, so I don't really take them. I just think they're interesting sometimes. Cool, oh, is that a little stilitta? Is it? Is he sitting down in there? I think it might be. Oh, it looks good if it is. And, oh, whoa. That's epic. Yes. Stilettas are so hard to find. Wow. In my experience, anyway, they are. And that's beautiful. Look at that. Two fantastic cowrie shells right there. Within like two meters of each other. We have scored today, ladies and gentle fish. <laughs> I'm freaking stoked on this morning's finds. Bit of a rough start today. We didn't find too much for the first hour or so. And then yeah, it started kicking off. They are both absolutely going in the case. Yes. Ooh. Alrighty guys, first finds of the day. We've got this little pile down here. It's looking pretty decent. Got a few little goodies there. But the first find I spotted, it's right here. Little clandestine cowrie. It's beautiful. Look at those patterns. Awesome. Look how far we are away from the water or any sort of rock pools. And we have another brown Mr. Sea Hare. Are you kidding me? Look at him. He is struggling. Super dry. Yeah, he's tiny. I found so many of these brown sea hares recently. Don't really want to put him straight into the rough surf there. So I think we're going to drop him down into this uh, little tide pool here. I see this tide pool every single day. And uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen it go bare because the water's right there. So he should be good here. Let's put him right down here he's a tiny fella poor guy let's help him out here there you go buddy look at that straight back to life love to see it awesome have a good one mate let's see how many we can save this today is something we don't see like at all down in this little spot here check it out we've got a little live blue tiny bubble snail Check it out, it is freaking tiny. Holy. Be real gentle with him. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Wow. Yeah, I've never actually found one in this little area here. So that's pretty cool. It's actually right next to Mr. Sea Hare. Chilling out there. But he's tiny. Yeah, very cool. Can you pause it? Oh, I got it. We got the first big shell find of the day down here. Hopefully it's a whole on it. We're at the front of the beach now. Super choppy today. Like it's just crazy. So it's the next day actually. All right, let's check it out. Oh, that's a good spot. All righty. Oh, that's stuck. That's super stuck. I haven't found a bonnet in a while. This might be exciting, you guys. We just found that uh, bonnet shell down there. Not sure where it is in the video, but I'm just walking through here, seeing what I can find, and look. Is that an Arabian? Oh, I reckon it is because usually Arabians, whenever they're exposed, they'll usually have this big white calcium spot like that. So I reckon this has been sitting for quite a while with that spot hanging out. Come on. 
Yeah, it is an Arabian. Come on, is it live? Oh, heck yeah. That, uh, wow, that's a massive calcium spot. So for sure what this has been doing is sitting in like that. And that's been the exposed bit. That's incredible. How cool is that, hey? I wonder how long that's been sitting. Because underneath and all around it, it's really shiny and like polished. But uh, yeah, it's just that one spot there. Don't know if I'll be able to get that off. Calcium is really hard to get off of cowries I found or I find. Um, if you guys know the best ways to get calcium off of cowries like this, please comment down below, let me know. I always struggle with it. Awesome. Really starting to pick up on the fines now. That sun's really coming out too. I'm getting hot. I'm in a wetsuit, jumper, shorts, shirt. Yeah, it's getting hot. All right, we got it out there. Very cool. I'm surprised it's not broken because it was so smashed underneath there. Really stuck actually. So that's a nice one. It's really hard to get out. Decent size too. I wanted to check out this cowrie shell. Hiding under here. That water is really warm. Pretty old stolita. It's pretty nice though, it's got a little pink tinge to it. Oh, that's close. So cool. I just found that little stolita down there and the money carry down there. I'm like, oh yeah, that'll probably do for today. So I head over here to take my bag off and look at all the shells we found today to do it just down here. And I look down here and look at the size of that guy. Holy cow. Look at him, that is massive. So that's a sea hare, and uh, they always get stuck in when the tide drops to low tide, just like this guy, and they can't make it back. Wow, let's rescue this fella. Definitely want to see, oh what, it's two? <laughs> I didn't even know that. I thought it was just one massive guy. Let's put him there for now. Gonna move them to a deeper pool. Well, we're saving two more sea hares today. That's our fourth one today, I think, and these guys are really big. Not gonna leave them here. I'm gonna take them down. Oh, there we go, buddies. Sorry, you're upside down a bit. That's all right, they flip around all day in the seas. Let's take them somewhere I know won't get flushed out. Let's take them down here where I actually found the stilita. Yeah, right here, this is good. Got a bunch of caves for them around here. Let's put one guy up here. Come on, buddy. I wonder how long they were there for. It's been low tide since like 6 a.m. It's now 9, p 9 a.m. There we go. That's one straight back to life. Let's make sure he connects to the rock there so it doesn't go floating away. This guy's already started to come back to life. And there's the next one. Oh, that guy's turned around a bit. Come on, buddies. There we go. Straight back to life. Bit hard to see them. Wash our hands a bit. There we go. They're two giant fellas. Really happy to save those guys. They're so important for this place. Awesome. Let's see what uh, shells we found then. Have a good one, guys. This down here, guys. We have two live Arabian cowries cuddling. How cool is that? That one's beautiful. Look at those measles. So we got him there. Uh, I probably won't take that guy out actually. He looks really cozy. This guy was really just sitting there. Cool, hey? I love finding the live ones. That means this place is thriving. Look at him there. Just about to wake up and have some breakfast. So cool. All right guys, have a good one. Do we have the second bonnet shell of the day sitting down here, hiding away? Check it out. Guys, please comment down below what you guys think. Is this going to be broken, whole, or live? Comment down below right now. All right, let's check it out. Come on. Yes. Woo. Awesome. Definitely needs a clean up on the top here, but I reckon a couple hours in a bleach solution, and that'll be beautiful, because look at that spire. I think it's a spire. Look at that color on the inside there. That's fantastic. I haven't been really finding much bonnets lately. I guess they've all started to wash up from these storms. Awesome. What a score. All right, let's continue down the beach. Still got a little bit to nice go. Little find down here on this other side of the beach. 
and it's actually a Mr. C hare, a brown Mr. C hare. He looks like he's struggling quite a bit. Beautiful little guy. All right, let's move him down into the water here. Here we go, mate. There you go. Straight back to life. There you go, buddy. Awesome. Look at those colors. All right, down here at the front of the beach. Haven't found too much today, but it looks like we have our first uh, shell find, but this one is actually a live fella. So we got a live Arabian down here. Just chilling out, having some breakfast. Wait for this to pass. It's a really nice looking shell though. Let's check him out. Wow, fantastic shell. Beautiful. Definitely 100% alive. Fantastic. Awesome, well, we'll let him go. You guys know we don't take live shells, so. There we go, little friend. Cool. Just sitting down here in this tide pool. Cool, lads. Alrighty guys, here is everything that we found today. We absolutely scored. So this video was actually made in two days, two sunrises. Yesterday we came, we didn't find much at all. Then today we decided to give it another shot and we absolutely scored today with all of these finds. Best find of the day, absolutely. This money cowrie here, I cannot believe the condition of it. I never really find them empty at all. Like I'll maybe find one empty every couple of weeks and to find one that size and that condition is freaking awesome. Absolutely love it. Next up, we had that really nice uh, Stolita. Really love finding Stolitas. They're always got such different patterns. That one's just fantastic. I reckon that's gonna go in my case for sure. Absolutely beautiful cowrie. We got a lot of cowries today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different cowrie shells today. Awesome. Then we had that donkey cowrie way back at the start. Freaking incredible, love finding those. Absolutely awesome. Got that Wendell Trap too. That was actually sitting next to a lined bubble shell. So that was really nice. Got that big Arabian there with that massive calcium spot. But other than that spot, the shell is beautiful. Really shined up carry. Then we had Mr. Crabs there, the malt of that crab. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a shell. Pretty cool, huh? It's my fourth one ever. Pretty interesting. And yeah, a couple of bonnets, a couple other common cowries. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Look at that barrel. Yes, that was nice. All right, see you guys.